What's up, everybody? I'm a guitar dude here, Roll Tide. And this is a global VR for a lot of the newer YTPC members. Um, some of you I'm subscribed to, some of you I'm not subscribed to, but the general theme of this um, video is advice for beginners. And let me just say that um, I started pipe smoking in the 80s and then I quit for a long period of time. And I restarted back pipe smoking in February of last year. So, um, for all intents and purposes, I'm kind of a, a intermediate, I guess. Not really a beginner anymore. But um, I do have some tips to pass along to beginners if you're out there listening to me and you're curious to hear my thoughts. I, by the way, I thought that Unicorn Piper, Mr. Ben... His, you need to watch his video because it is excellent. I wholeheartedly agree with everything that he said. Um, start yourself up a smokingpipes.com account. Start yourself up an aristocob.com account. Um, order you a corncob pipe. Order you a pipe. I would say an estate pipe that you like from Smoking Pipes. And two pipes are fantastic to get started um, order several one ounce samples of the bulk tobacco and um, you know read the descriptions and um, you know source out some reviews on tobacco reviews and don't take the reviews as gospel but just kind of scroll what I did was I just kind of scrolled through there and got a general feel for what people were saying about a blend and um and that's how i you know placed my initial orders i have done a ton of sampling in fact i would say that the majority of my seller are samples and it's just now where i'm more than a year and a half back into pipe smoking that i'm beginning to order um blends um in quantity um, I just got an order in today from Smoking Pipes where I ordered a big tin of Lane Limited Ready Rub. And it's because I had sampled that blend several times um, and decided, you know, that's a blend that I wanted to uh, order a lot of. So um, Ben is spot on, you know, get you a couple of pipes. I would, I would say a, a country gentleman even though it's a bigger pipe, um, for a corn cob is a great first pipe because you can pack half of the bowl and um, and just smoke half of the bowl and uh, and dump the rest. Um, definitely another piece of advice I have not heard on the videos that I've watched is um, certainly get very plugged in to the wipe. YTPC and establish friendships with people. Um, in particular, um, you know, Ben, Unicorn Piper, uh, several of us who have a developed seller. Uh, what I found to be the case is that we're um, very open and accepting of sending out some samples, um, sending you a package of things that we've got for you to sample. That way you don't have to purchase some of these samples um, but the bulk tobacco on smoking pipes per ounce is usually pretty cheap um, I do agree with Unicorn Piper's recommendation to initially steer away from tins um, I have begun to order some tins but it's because my palate is more developed and when I listen to tobacco reviews now I'm listening for certain things in the review that I know suit my palate and so I feel much more comfortable now almost two years in 
ordering a tin for nine bucks, 12 bucks or whatever than I did two years ago. So, um, but rotate your pipes is another thing. So, um, and don't, don't get in a hurry. It's okay to just have one bowl a day and then rest that pipe, clean it out with a pipe cleaner, get all the tobacco out of it, um, put it down the next day, smoke your other pipe. So alternate days of corn cob to your briar or whatever, and just do that in the beginning. Take your time um, and uh, watch Living Free Piper's video. I'm doing a lot of shout outs, but these are guys that have cut videos in response to a lot of these um, giveaways and whatnot. Um, he nailed it in terms of packing your pipe loosely. Don't overpack your pipe. Don't, don't stuff a bunch of tobacco into your pipe. Pack it loosely, lightly tamp it down, and, and just smoke it. And, um, you know, try out a lot of different blends. And the other thing that I will say is uh, do not throw away any blends that do not initially strike your fancy, okay? Because it is, I am seeing it's definitely true that um, as you smoke more and kind of find your groove, um, you'll come back to certain blends and you'll enjoy them later on. So don't throw your blends away. Buy you some mason jars. They're not that expensive. Um, one thing to maximize your mason jar investment is to, um, you know, these one ounce samples that you get, you can stuff them in, um, and I just leave them in the bag, stuff them into your mason jar by blend type. So in other words, if you buy three burly samples, three vapor samples, three aromatic samples, you know, you, it's okay to store all of those similar samples in the same mason jar. You will get a little bit of flavor overlap with some of the more aromatic blends, but but on the whole, it's okay to do that. Um, and yeah, just uh, be patient. Um, enjoy the journey. It's uh, it's a fun hobby if you're patient with yourself. And it's okay to not like a blend that everybody loves. Um, I am an unabashed aromatic smoker. And, you know, I, I watch a lot of videos and I'm like, you know, am I a wuss for liking aromatics? And the answer is no. It's just where I'm at in my journey right now. I really like aromatic blends. And so um, what I'm beginning to do now is venture out and try Vapor Virginia Perique blends uh, Latakia blends, English blends, um, Virginia, straight Virginia type tobaccos. Um, I, I like Burleys, so generally if something has Burley, it generally, uh, you know, does really well for me. Um, in dealing with tongue bite, there's several different ways you can deal with that, and you will more than likely encounter it. One of the ways that I avoid tongue bite is I don't mix blends when I smoke. I, if I start off smoking a burley, I stay with my burleys. If I smoke an aromatic, I'll stay with my aromatics in a smoking session. So if I sit down to smoke a couple of pipes or whatever, I'll stay in that blend category. And that's helped me to alleviate tongue bite. But um, there's a product called Biotein. They sell them at the dollar stores, Walmart, whatever, and that can help you deal with tongue bite. Uh, swishing or gargling with red wine can help you deal with tongue bite. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, just in, you know, enjoy the trip. Um, get you plenty of pipe cleaners. You'll want to get the bristly ones, and you'll want to get the cloth ones, and uh, you know. Um, when you know it's time to really deep clean your pipes is when they start to kind of taste a little funky. And I use Everclear to um, clean out the internals of my pipe. So anyways, pretty pretty long video. I'm going to upload this in non-HD, but um, if you're out there, you're a beginner, you're wondering, you know, kind of what are some tips and tricks, 
Um, maybe some of this will help you. Okay? All right. Take care. Bye-bye.